Okay, what we have here is um, I have the receiver right here and it's bound to this radio and this has the DSM, DSMX module on the back of it. I have it all bound, um, aileron and uh, rudder just set up on two just servos just plugged right into the radio and I just got plugged into power. Just to let you, just to show you that that works. Now I'm going to put this module in that radio, and I'm going to set up a model to uh, control this through the trainer module. I'm going to demonstrate the setup on the radio on the Open TX Companion because it's just a little easier. One thing you have to do is you have to make sure your PPM output is controlling the proper settings on the radio. And uh, the PPM was a little different than what the Tarana settings are. Um, to get into that setting screen, long press the menu. That'll get you into the radio setup. Page, 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 into the trainer functions. And you can see I set the throttle up. The throttle is actually coming through on channel 3 out of the PPM. On the um, on that receiver module, uh, aileron is coming through on channel one. Elevator is coming through on channel two. The rudders came coming through on channel four. Um, you can adjust your calibrations and your multipliers to get everything about where you need it. This is about what worked out for me. Um, I don't know if the training simulator actually works on here. Yeah, it does. You can actually see the training simulator comes through, and you can check your calibration on it, but really doesn't do much for us. Okay, so once you get the settings in here, set up correctly for the um, for the PPM output into your training report and your radio, then we're gonna go to quick press menu, page, 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 to the special functions. And um, I set up a special function for the trainer to control the rudder, the elevator, the aileron, and the throttle. You can have the trainer switch change just um, maybe the elevator and aileron. You can have it change just maybe the rudder or the um, throttle, depending on what you want to change, what you want the student to control. I had it control everything, and I also added in the sounds. So when you actually flip the switch, students playing. It um, and you hold it, it gives control to the student. Instructors playing. When you release it, it gives control back to the instructor. That way, while the students, students flying, you playing. hold that. You hold the switch down while they're flying, and when they start to panic, it's easy to release and, and take control of the plane. So that's how I set that up. Make sure you have your buttons checked over here. And that should be all you need to do, and it should be working. Okay, I have both radios set up now. And as you can see, I have this plugged into the back, and it's just set up and coming out of the PPM port. It's got power coming to it and everything. Um, the Radio is actually plugged directly in, or the um, radio is bound right now with this uh, FR Sky receiver. And I think I got rudder set up on there and elevator, I believe. Now, um, when I push this, I should be able to switch into um, uh, trainer mode. So, students playing. That just gave the power to the student. So, the student should be able to control the rudder. Tip that over. Control the rudder and the elevator. And then when I take control back, instructor's plane. They can no longer control it. I can control the elevator and I can control the rudder. So, a real nice wireless option for um, for a trainer. You don't have to worry about the cable in between you. Um, not only that, but anything with a PPM output, you can bind to this and you can plug in. So this can actually be a trainer for, um, 
for a Spectrum, Fataba, another uh, FR Sky, doesn't matter. Whatever you need to be a trainer for, it can do it. So, once again, rudder, elevator, and of course, Students, please. elevator, rudder. And just so you can, just so you, uh, you see, um, if you can see the screen here, you can see it does control, all the other controls are working on it. So, you can see by the ball moving around in there. Instructor's plane. Really nice, easy way to do this. Student's plane. Instructor's plane. Okay, here it is all tucked in. And the nice part is, when you're, the backing plate still goes on. So, it can be completely tucked away, nobody even knows it's here. <coughs> the other nice thing is when you unplug this, you unplug the, um, the connector from it, it's not powered. And you can still use your, um, your wired trainer port. 